Hello and welcome to Gardening at 58 North. In this video I'd like to give you an update on my poinsettia here. So as you can see it's in full bloom at the moment, it's looking really nice. Um, it's been doing quite well this year, I wouldn't say it's been the best display yet. Last year's display, display was maybe a bit better, I'm not sure. Uh, mixed results really. But um, I'm pretty happy with this one. So what's happened in, in, since the last video is it's been growing a lot of the red leaves. And now it's at the peak of its blooming, so as you can see in the middle of the red leaves it's got a little cluster of flowers coming on it and it's looking really quite nice. So I've been quite happy as I say. The only issue I have had is I think I've been watering it a bit too much and what's happened is a lot of the lower leaves have fallen off. So you can see down there it's quite bare, all the green leaves are gone pretty much. The only leaves are on the tips of the shoot. But actually this has had an added bonus that when you look at the display there's very few green leaves and it really shows off the red leaves even more than before. And also I think colour wise this is the best colour I've ever had in a poinsettia. You can see the red, it's just, it's just so bright it almost seems to hurt your eyes to look at it. It's just such a, such a deep red and bright red that it kind of doesn't look real. Well it definitely doesn't look real but it looks, it almost makes your eyes hurt it's that red. So I think this is definitely the best colour I've ever had from poinsettia. And I'll just have it there so you can see a nice clear shot. So it should continue this display for another month or two probably. Um, when I had this last year, because it's quite cool in my flat, and there's not a lot of daylight anyway in, at this time of year in Scotland, it tends to grow very slowly and it just keeps the colour for a good long while. So it's past Christmas now, but I'll keep it in a nice prominent place in my living room so I can enjoy the, the beautiful display for a while. And I'm quite happy that it's, it's, flown, it's flowered so well. And being in Scotland does give me an advantage in that, in that we have a lot of short days in the winter. And it's the short daylight that um, that really encourages us to flower. So if I lived in the tropics, unless I put this in a cupboard every evening and reduce the number of hours of daylight it gets, it'll be quite difficult for it to flower naturally. But because I'm this far north, it flowers very freely every year. You don't have to do anything to it, just leave it on the windowsill and it brings itself into flower naturally. I would like to maybe speed it up a little bit. Maybe um, next year I could always put it in a cupboard in September time or August time. Or, um, or maybe keep it a bit warmer so it speeds up the process. Because at the moment it's at it's at its peak at the, now, which is kind of like late January. And it would be nice if it, if it was at its peak at Christmas. But it's still it's still got plenty of red bracts at Christmas. It's still looking quite Christmassy at Christmas time. It's just not at its absolute peak. So I could maybe try and adjust the um, the timing of it slightly. But otherwise, I'm very happy with it. As you can see, it's a it's a moderately healthy plant apart from my overwatering recently. So, as I say, it will stay like this for a few months and then what will happen is it should start putting out a lot of new shoots from lower down and just, just as the buds start to form, I will then give this another hard prune like I did last year and it will regrow and it should look quite nice again. What I might need to do though is to repot it. You can see the, the displays, they're all a little bit small this year. This is the only one that's kind of like a full size. The rest are all quite small and the reason for that is it's been in the same pot for maybe two or three years now. You can see I cut it back hard but every time I've cut it it's had smaller weaker stems than the year before and that's just because the, every time I cut it there's a chance that more than one stem will grow so there's quite a lot of stems on this now and when the stems divide they get smaller every time especially if you don't increase the pot size so I probably need to increase the pot size and it's been in this pot for a long time and you can see it's, it's really badly root bound. The roots are healthy though, which is good, so I've obviously not damaged it too much with overwatering, but it certainly needs repotting. So I'll do that in spring at the same time that I cut it back hard, and hopefully we should get better results than last year. But all in all, I'm very happy with my poinsettia. As I said, when I was a, a child, I could never keep these things alive, they would always die on me straight away, I didn't know what I was doing wrong. But I've kept this now for, I think, two years, so I'm very happy with it. This is the second Christmas that I've... Um, I've made it flower. I've actually had been looking after it for three years, if you can include when it was in the garden centre. And I was looking after it in the garden centre because this is from my original garden centre where I used to work. So there we are, I'm very happy with my poinsettia. And I'll give you guys an update in spring when, I, when I'm ready to do a bit of hard prune.